everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've been asked to do a risk assessment video on how we actually do our risk assessments and things like that. So I have our risk assessment file which has every single one in from the house, the park, local attractions and anything like that. So to start with we have what exactly our risk assessments mean because anybody looking at it will be like what on earth is it? So I have a risk assessment, sort of like, what do you used to call them, a key? With all the different wording and things like that on. So we have severity, likelihood and the final score. And then I literally went through the whole of my house where the children will be and labelled everything. So it starts off with, oh hold on, that's the park one way there, let me get back to the house. So it starts off with the hallway and then it'll go doors, stair gates, first aid box not up to date and then they are the hazards. So what is associated with that hazard? Well a door can have trapped finger or banged head on the handle. Um, then you go on to the severity of it. One is a minor injury like a bruise or a graze. Two, five being death or a permanent disability. So a banged head or a bumped a trapped finger is normally like two, I would say. That's what we've put them down as. And the likelihood is probably gonna be a three because, you know, kids always wanna play with stuff that they're not allowed to play with. I've literally just got a magpie nearly thrown into the window. Oh, there's another one. Ooh. What are they doing? Anyway, final score would be a six. So a six, then I go back. Six to nine is medium risk. Do something as soon as possible. So what did we do? We put supervision around all doors. So then it completely changes the severity and likelihood. So the severity is still a two because the injury is gonna be exactly the same, but the likelihood of it happening with a adult in the room is gonna be very low because you can obviously uh, stop them from the trapping their fingers in the door or you could tell them to move away from the door. The priority then is dropped down to a four. So then it goes on and on and on things like that. So I will put it up to the screen so you can have a look yourself and you can pause it and have a little read. So this is the area of the place, this is the uh, hazard, what uh, the injury could be, the severity times the likelihood equals what is the problem. Then we have the same, I think this is kitchen now, we've got plug sockets, sharp objects, unclean worktops, fire blanket not hung, no safety catches, things like that. We then have, whoop, the lounge and then going into the dining room, going into the bathroom, going into the outside area, going onto the car. and equipment and then the extension so the extension being the playroom and then it goes on to the decking and then we have all of the areas that we go to around the local like place um, but if I go back to the park as well, then you can take notes of all of them if you need any of them. And this one. And then I think that was it. So the best way to get risk assessments from places that you go on a regular basis, or maybe even not on a regular basis, maybe it's just a one-off every year sort of thing. Um, the best way to do it is first of all go on the website because most of the times now local attractions have it as a thing on the website so if you type in their name and then risk assessment it will send you straight to the page where it is if they don't have it you can always ring them up and they can either email it to you or send it out in the post either way you should always put it in your risk assessment to cover your back to cover everybody's back it's always a good thing to have 
So with them, we normally check upon theirs every year and we have renewal dates and things like that. Um, as for the house one, we probably do that every two years just because nothing really much changes. Obviously, if there was a big change like the extension, um, that got added on. I will show you. And that's why it's all in red because that is a brand new like area that needed putting on. And then this year it just got updated with like a, a safety check, I would say, to say yes, everything's exactly the same and there is no changes. And if there was, I will just doodle them in sort of like this. And then next year I'll do, or the year after, I'll do a different colour. Um, as for that, that is pretty much all of our risk assessments. So I can show you an example of an attraction. This one is Peyton Zoo and I rang them up and I checked on their website and theirs is completely the same. So all it is exactly the same as ours along, along, along and it just makes sure that you are aware of what the dangers are before you take the kids there. And that's it basically. Just make sure you keep it on top of them. If you have a major change, obviously change your risk assessment and that's about it. So I hope this helped and I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe on the red button down below and I'll see you again soon.